everyone! So I have a quick review for you. I'm going to be reviewing the Revlon um, Colorstay. It's 24-hour um, foundation. And I purchased it in combination to oily skin. Um, as you guys know, I do get a little bit oily um, forehead and kind of chin area um, throughout the day. And I've bought several other kinds of foundations, um, you know, oil-free or to combat oil. Um, and, you know, some of them work really well, use them, whatnot, um, but I thought, well, I've heard so many people talk about this foundation that I thought, why not just go out, buy it, you know. So I did. I got it in the shade 200, which is nude, and um, in the store, like, I, I tested it, just put some on my hand, um, and I think this color's got a little bit too much, like, it doesn't look pink, but it's got a little bit too much red to it. Um, like it blends in with my skin, like it matches my skin well just because um, I have a lot of like red or pink undertones in my skin, but I like to use a yellow, more yellow tone to kind of cancel that out. So I feel like I need to wear a little extra bronzer or something to bring more color to my face, if that makes any sense. I feel like it makes me a little pale, but it's not that it's too light. I don't know. Anyways, whatever. That aside, um, I do actually, I've used this several times. I actually really, really like this foundation. I still get um, oily and whatnot on my chin and my forehead, but it takes like hours and hours for that to happen, where normally with other foundations it could be two to three hours or something and I'm kind of getting a little oily. This will be like, you know, after seven, eight hours or something like that. Like, you know, at the end of the day I'll notice, oh, I got a little bit of oil. Um, I really, really like this. They do have, um, a, they have a good variety of shades, but I think more if you have lighter to medium toned skin as far as dark, they really don't have a great um, selection in shades. Um, this is a pricier foundation. Um, I find that a lot of Revlon products can be a little bit more, um, like they're still drugstore prices, but they're at the high end of drugstore prices. This I got at Walmart and it was about $15. So um, a little bit more than I would regularly want to pay for a drugstore foundation, but um, it really, really does last all day. It stays on your skin all day. It doesn't um, like absorb into my skin or kind of melt off like some foundations and, and makeup does. Um, so definitely, I don't know about 24 hours. I don't know why anyone would want to have foundation on for 24 hours. Ew. I don't know. Um, but anyways, it does last a really long time. Um, I like the smell of it. That's one thing whenever I get a new foundation, um, I always smell them. If they smell chemically or something, I will not buy it. This one has a really nice, like, light, it smells like foundation, but it's got, like, a nice light scent to it. It doesn't smell bad at all. Um, it, uh, the only thing, one thing that I don't like is that it doesn't have a pump on it. I really, or, you know, like in a squeeze tube kind of thing, I really like foundations that, um, have a pump. And this doesn't, so I mean, whatever. But anyways, um, this blends, like, I put, like, a very small amount onto, um, my hand. And then I take my, um, stippling brush and, and put that all over my face. But, um you need like a small amount and this will cover your entire face. Like I put barely anything on and I've really got to like rub, I, I've got so much of this I could do like my entire hand, maybe a little up my arm, I don't know. Anyways, um, so it just, um, it has a really nice kind of flawless finish to it. Um, it's not dewy looking or anything, it's just very um, matte but like natural and like you don't look cakey or anything like that and it blends out really really nicely like I said you don't need much of it either I just wish that it had a better way to um, apply the foundation but that aside I do really like this foundation I think it works really really well I just got makeup or <laughs> like foundation all over the bottle anyways um anyways so that being said it does have SPF 6 in it which I don't think is really that much kind of pointless I mean it's good to have it in it but uh, for 6 it really that's kind of pointless um, in, in my opinion anyway. So I will definitely be using all of this up. This is definitely going to be a summer shade though. I could not wear this shade in the winter. It wouldn't work for me. But um, they do also have it in like um, for dry skin or normal skin or something like that as well. They've got like two, two variations of this um, color stay. So I do really, really like it. I've been wanting to try it for a while. I'm happy I bought it. Definitely going to use it. Um, I think I'll use this shade for the summer and then when it starts getting to fall winter I will pick up a lighter shade of this. But it lasts all day. Um, I really don't have many bad things to say about it. I really, really like this and for the price. Um, I know it's like I said, it's a little bit more 
you know, pricey for a drugstore item, but you know what, if it's something that, you know, really works, i say spend the money on it, right? You're going to be happy with it. So definitely thumbs up for me. Really, really like this product. Uh, if you guys use this or have used it, let me know what you think about it. And so I hope you enjoy this kind of quick rambly review. So anyways, I will talk to you guys again, and thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.